hello. I'm going to show you guys all my personal favorite warrior combos that I use on a regular basis. Before we get to the combos, I need you guys to understand when playing warrior, you have to understand every situation that is usable for certain combos. Not everything here in this video is going to be usable in every situation. Some for large scale, some for 1v1s, some are just to style and just kind of look cool. So just kind of be careful with what you see and like where you think you might be able to fit these in because if you try and do certain combos, you're going to feed your brains out and it's going to look really bad. Most of the Warriors kit is kind of made to be this sort of duelist combat kind of style where you're just 1v1ing in the BA or small scale sort of situations. Large scale Warriors kind of hard to play and once you kind of learn to play the outside a little bit more and not do in ball fighting, you'll perform a lot better in large scale but 1v1s and small scale you shouldn't have too many issues and i mean if all you do is sit in ba and just kind of you know duel all day these combos are going to be fine no matter what you use because you're not going to have any kind of outside interruptions but overall like if you do other things you're going to have to examine what situation is going to fit where so yeah just be aware that not all these combos are going to be you know perfect one last thing you need to understand is block canceling before you even try any of these combos, the two main uses of block canceling is to speed up animations and to cut off certain animations, whether it be like grave digging cancels or reckless blow cancels, things like that. You're going to need to understand these two things because they are heavily used in the warrior's kit and you're not playing warrior at full speed until you master these things. An example of this would be the reckless blow cancel and how it works is you use overwhelm from your hotbar or by pressing the A or X button depending on your console setup or whatever your controller layout is. And you press it after certain abilities like solar flare for example that's like the easiest example i'm pretty sure that's like the main thing you're going to be using off of anyway once your overwhelm hits your opponent you immediately press your block button and quickly tap reckless blow with rbrt or whatever your controller layout is this will speed cast reckless blow at reduced damage mind you fully charged reckless will always do more damage than just the speed cast version and the idea here is if you want to use fully charged reckless that is a very situational thing and there are certain tips and tricks that you can use with that like you can charge reckless and then iframe with it to kind of cast it in a different direction if you feel like it however this like 90 percent of the time gets me caught especially in large scale this is something i never really do unless like i know i can get away with it with the iframe but once you cast reckless blow there is zero protections it doesn't work like you know grim reaper's judgment on sork where they have a core skill that you know completely like blocks everything grim's core skill right for whatever reason it has super armor on the the charge up time the cast and then you know once you like everything ev every bit of the animation is protected from super armor and warriors reckless the moment the skill is casted zero protection nothing so you have to be really careful when trying to charge reckless blow usually i only do this in like 1v1 scenarios or if i know i can get it off in a large scale and nobody's around me that's kind of the only reason i charge it but outside of that i am always quick casting it because i don't have the time to just fully charge it but the important thing to know about reckless blow is that it's a t3 add-on and being able to get that t3 add-on off is very good for a fast-paced combo and quick kills like in large scale if you don't have the time to charge that shit not only that but you are using overwhelm as like the catalyst for the block cancel so it's going to be like a float into a kd and overwhelm has a 10 percent down attack damage buff on like just built into the kit among other things too with your add-ons if you put add-ons on overwhelm so you're getting a ton of buffs and not only that but you need to consider the back-to-back -back cc's that i mentioned like i said overwhelm is a float and then reckless blow is a kd which is nuts and sometimes like my favorite thing to do recently is i do merciless which is a float into block cancel overwhelm which again that also floating double float right there so mercy overwhelm float and then cancel immediately into reckless blow which is a kd i can throw three cc's in a span of like a half a second it's really good once you master this you'll be using this like 90 percent of the time in almost every single combo because it's just so good to use it in every scenario because just getting damage off as quickly as possible and all your add-ons off immediately is such a huge thing for warrior and the last way to kind of like another example for canceling is like the grave digging cancel so you can basically cancel the animation at any point of grave digging whether it be the moment you cast it or maybe like halfway through the cast or even at the end if you don't want the last hit to go off or whatever if you're if you think you're going to get grabbed or something like that you could cancel it and then iframe it at any point in time so that's another way to block cancel these are just examples but yeah that's essentially the basics of block canceling from a beginner standpoint. I'll showcase the combos that I use now. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I'll answer them to the best of my knowledge. But I'll just have music playing in the background and then I'll put the 
little you know combos to under each uh, section so that way you guys can try and practice it on your own
And there you have it. Those are all the combos I use on a regular basis. Just remember, they're not meant for every scenario. Some are for BA, some are for large scales, some are for like small scale, quick kills, things like that. As long as you master block canceling and keep your awareness up on where you can use certain combos, your warrior will be, you know, on the pro right track of progression towards, you know, being at least a, a half decent warrior like myself, because I am trash at large scale. I'm not going to hold you. I am terrible at large scale warrior. But anyway, that's it. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.